DJ Pro makes it easy and smooth to do amazing mixes because they have such great EQ features. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of DJ Pro's amazing EQ features, whether you use the iPad or the laptop. All right, first we're going to start in classic mode. This app was able to fit so many amazing features by separating into different view modes. So now we are going to start with classic and then I'll show you how to access the EQs in every view mode. So we are in classic and you may notice where are the EQs. You don't see the EQs at all. You just see these big views of our record decks. In order to access the EQs in this, in this mode, there are two options. Number one would be to press this button over here. So the middle one is for your waveforms. The right is for your looper and sampler. The left is for your EQs. So now you may notice you have volume slider and you have a filter, but we still don't have EQs. And then in here in the middle, that is going to be our, our levels. So we can see if we're redlining and then we can see our levels over there. So now in order to get the EQs in this section down here where it says EQ, we're going to press that. So now we get a three, three band plus filter EQ. This is what you are going to be used to seeing, whether you DJ with turntables and a mixer, CDJs, or any type of controller, will most of them will have EQs that look like these. We have lows, mids, and highs. So in order to change this, you could grab it, touch it with your finger. You just have to touch it with your finger there, and then you could move your finger anywhere else. On the laptop, you could use the trackpad with two fingers, or you could press it in. A cool feature that makes it a little bit easier is if you double tap it, it brings it back to the middle. So that makes it easier no matter where it is. You double tap it, brings it back to the middle. So you could control the lows. You bring it to the left, take all the lows out, bring it to the right, raise the lows, mids, and highs the same way. If you are wondering where the gain control is, it's over here. So usually there'll be four bands in the EQ and there'll be a trim or gain knob. But this app, they have that feature, but they don't really want you to use it. This app has a really, really great auto gain feature. So over here, it says auto gain and automatically adjusts the song. So the playback volume are the same. It works really well and you're not really going to have to worry about the gain. It is there, but you're not going to have to worry about it. And if you notice in this section that you still have control of the volume, they just put it on top of the levels really cool how they were able to fit so many things into this little mixer section so now if you want to mix with narrow mix you could press this drop down menu here and you get a narrow mix eq dj pro has one of the best stem separating softwares so you could use it right here in your eqs kind of the future of djing a lot of people think it's going to be drums harmonics and vocals instead of bass, mids, and highs, but whatever you're used to using, you could do it. I like to keep it in the regular EQ. And then up here, we have easy access to our filters. A lot of electronic music has filters when they make it, so it's great to have these filters right here at our fingertips. So that is how we access the EQs here. But what if you want to see your waveforms or the looper and sampler, but you still want to use your EQs? Well, you could do that by pressing over here. This is how we get the more features. We're going to lose the jog wheel, but you could still use these waveforms to scratch. Press this, and then now we have a full three-band EQ with a filter, and we have our trim right here. So with this one, it's a little bit easier to use. So these knobs are a little bit harder to use with the touchscreen. This way to adjust is a lot easier when you're just using the iPad. You just have to double tap the middle to bring it back to where you want it. And then we have our three bands, and then we have our filter right there. You can't change this into Neuromix, but it's good that we have our EQs here. And again, you lose the jog wheel. So that is how you're going to use the EQs in classic mode. I'm just going to show you really quick in pro mode. A lot of stuff's the same. So this is pro mode. So this section here in the middle is going to be pretty much exactly the same, maybe a little bit different size and shape, but we have our filter, or we could have bring out the EQs there. And then now over here, we have all the features here, including our EQs, and we can adjust it that way. And on the laptop, there is one way to adjust the EQs. So you are either going to use your trackpad or mouse. If you're using the trackpad, you could do it with two fingers. 
uh, without pressing in the trackpad, which is cool, or you can press in the trackpad. If you want to see my full beginner tutorial for this app for the MacBook, check out this video over here. Thank you.